who is the chosen one? In the Star Wars Rebels episode Twin Sun, Obi Wan Kenobi refers to Luke Skywalker as the chosen one. This can be supported when Ben Kenobi's fourth goal says, That boy is our only hope to Yoda in the Empire Strikes Back. So, is Luke the chosen one? Well, no, according to George Lucas, Anakin is the chosen one. Since Disney acquired Lucasfilm and Star Wars, the, the Star Wars can has changed, so this could change, but let's operate under the assumption that of George Lucas' intention that Anakin is the chosen one, and there is plenty of evidence to support this. His high midichlorian count, whether or not you think that's canon, that's your own opinion, but is it's in the movie, so it's canon, whether you like it or not. Okay, and two. In the Mortis arc of the Clone Wars, he was able to control both the Sun and the Daughter, representations of the Dark Side and the Light Side, respectively. And I believe Dave Filoni did say that's what that episode was intended to do, show that Anakin was the Chosen One. Number three, he destroys the Jedi Order. Okay, that needs some explanation, but it go it goes along with the theory that that the, when the Force the, the force for balance in the force. Not only does that mean the Sith has to be destroyed, but the Jedi also have to be destroyed. Basically, it goes off of numerical equilibrium. Basically, the the Jedi order is destroyed, and only two are left in the movies. You have two Sith, two Jedi. The the Sith are are Darth Vader, of course, and Darth Sidious. The two Jedi are Yoda and Obi Wan. After Ben Kenobi's first ghost stated that boy is our only hope, Yoda responded with, there is another. And then, later in Return of the Jedi, Anakin renounces the Sith and kills the Emperor. And then, of course, George Lucas and Qui-Gon Jinn said so. This statement, the Empire Strikes Back, could be re interpreted as referring to Leia, but Anakin is equally likely. And then also, if Anakin is still the chosen one, then why does Obi Wan Kenobi believe that Luke Skywalker is the chosen one? Simply put, look at what Obi Wan has been through: the return of the Sith, the Clone Wars, Anakin's turn to the dark side, and the becoming of a Sith, having to fight Anakin on Mustafar, and believing and leaving him to die. Obi Wan has been through a lot. Plus. Yoda said the prophecy may have been misinterpreted. It is reasonable to say that after all that, Obi-Wan believed that Luke Skywalker would be the actual chosen one. So Obi-Wan, as I stated, Obi-Wan has been through a lot. That, can greatly, that affected his point of view. Okay, now, let us assume that Anakin is not the chosen one. If Anakin is not the chosen one, then Luke has to be the chosen one. And there is evidence to support this idea. One. Obi-Wan Kenobi believes that Luke Skywalker is the chosen one. And I think Maul does to a certain extent, but not by name. So, Obi-Wan defeated Maul. Maul asked, is it the chosen one in regards to who Obi-Wan is protecting? And Obi-Wan says, yes. And then we see Luke Skywalker later in the episode connecting those dots. And then two, Luke turns his father, Anakin Skywalker, away from the dark side in the Sith, leading to the destruction of the Sith. And then personal balance, meaning, is Luke searching for personal balance in the Force, not just the galactic balance, not just that numerical balance. While there is not much evidence, this does assume that the prophecy was likely misread. The actual text of the prophecy is unknown even to the Jedi Order, in both canon and in legend. They simply believe that the prophecy means that there will be a Jedi who would destroy the Sith and restore balance to the Force. In my personal headcanon, the prophecy was greatly misinterpreted. In my opinion, there were two parts of the prophecy, the literal and the personal. Anakin brought literal balance to the Force, that is, he destroyed both the Sith and the Jedi Order. The Jedi was a Jedi Purge, reducing the number of Jedi Masters left to two, with that being the same number as the number of Sith Lords, two. 
Then Anakin destroyed the Sith after leaving his identity as Darth Vader, leaving Luke as the last Jedi after the deaths of Ben Kenobi, Yoda, and Anakin Skywalker. This is where the prisoner part comes in. Luke will be looking for the prisoner balance in the Force. That's what I'm thinking it might be showed in the sequel trilogy. So, uh, so in the Star Wars canon, the Force wants balance. So it's logical to assume that the Force would want to have two groups that disrupt the balance to no longer be, and desires for all users to find personal balance in the Force. So what I'm basically saying there is that that the Force wants to be in balance, and then it was one of the Jedi to be destroyed and the Sith because both groups were disrupting the balance. As the Bendu said in the season finale of Star Wars Rebels, I'm not quoting it exactly, I'm paraphrasing, but that it was for, essentially he said it was for the best that the Jedi were destroyed. Take that as you will, but there you go. The Force wanted balance, and the Bendu is self proclaimed to be in the middle, which I think is what the Force actually wants its users to be. So, in conclusion, both Anakin and Luke are the chosen one. They're the chosen one in different ways. Anakin is going for the numerical balance in the force between the Jedi and the Sith, while Luke is going for the personal balance in the force. Do you agree with this theory? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you believe there's anything wrong with my theory, let me know in the comments down below so I can address them either in the comments or in a future video. May the force be with you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel for future content. Check out my other channels, Johnson Berry, The Art and History Channel, and John Berry Gaming. Check, check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Support me on Patreon, and check out my website. Links are in the description down below. Have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. Have a good one.